Hi there, I'm Vicky Parfido. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I have been painting rocks and leaves lately and even these little rock cans I've been drawn to. And specifically this little sketch, I love how this little tree is breaking through between the two rocks. So today I am going to be working with some stacked rocks. I have a graphite pencil, water mister. I have 100% cotton watercolour paper and I have taped down a piece onto my desk. Then I have my favourite brush, my Fumui mop brush. And this is a size four. It has a beautiful fine point too. So I have my palette, which is a large white tile. And I'm going to mist my palette and my paper and I'm just going to lightly blot any water that may be left on the paper that's shiny or puddling. So I'm using my Windsor and Newton Professional Watercolours and I am starting with some Burnt Sienna and Payne's Grey. And I'm going to start the first rock in my rock can. So rock cans are really interesting. They have a history of being used for marking the right way on a not so well defined trail. And I think that's quite symbolic of perhaps that's why I'm drawn to creating cans in my paintings. I am making a signpost for the way forward, I guess. And this particular can that I'm creating, I'm going to stack up some rocks and I'm going to allow each rock to blend and bleed into the rock next to it. And I'm just making some marks with my Derwent Graphic HB pencil and I'll be drawing into each of the rocks in the same way. Now I'm adding some Payne's Grey to deepen the colour so it's a darker rock. And just tapping into the rock below it to allow the bleeds and the blends to appear. I'll put on some music and I'll be back later in the video to talk about the next stages.
So I'm back with what that first piece and you can see I've been practicing all different leaf shapes and I'm just trialing this marker that I have this watercolor marker I think it's probably a little bit too green I'm going to look for something with a little bit more green brown in it and I'm bringing in my heat gun to dry off this first part of the painting so that it's completely dry when I use the markers. So I've decided on this one, it's called Mossy Meadow. It has some brown undertones. It's a watercolor marker by Stampin' Up. And I'm going to start off with the fine tip and just draw a vine. And this vine is going to be supported by this rock can. And the vine is going to wind around it you can see it hides around the back there and curves around and is reaching towards the sun. Now I'm going to use the brush tip of the marker and add the little leaves on the stem of the vine.
Now here you'll notice me shading with the graphite pencil and this is to provide some shadow at the base of each of the rocks and I'm going to just keep the lines going in that same diagonal motion. This was a very relaxing part of the painting. And it gives more depth to each rock and shows that it's sitting on top of or next to the rock near it. The silver dots are very subtle. They probably won't show up so well on camera, uh, but they do look great. So there it is finished. My rock can with the vine winding through it. And here are some close-ups so you can see some of that silver and some of the graphite, the bleeds, how the shading. I was careful to keep all my pencil strokes going in the same direction. And you can see the detail. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Here's another shot of my palette and the pieces I was working on earlier. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.